Right, hello you lovely tubers. Unfortunately, my uh, audio hasn't worked again. So there's been real issues with it. So I've just topped up my, uh, my bike, put some go-go juice in it. It's my first ride in five weeks. So really, really looking forward to this. I say, getting my feet steady again on it, getting used to it. It's amazing when you've been off your vehicle for a time how, how quickly you uh, you readapt to getting back on it. So I thought I'd only do a short run. I'm going to have a quick ride down to uh, Yule's Manchester Honda and have a quick chat with some of the lads in there and say hello to them and have a, a walk around the, uh, the showroom and see what's there. But it's absolutely fabulous getting back on the NC. The sound of it, unfortunately, this is a, a talk over. Now, you'll get some of the audio as I go further on in the uh, in the video, but very little bits of it because it just totally distorted. Just really, really tried everything with audio. It's driving me absolutely bonkers, to say the least. But it's like a thank you to everyone that's, you know, supported me, sent me messages, get well. You know, it's really, really nice of everyone. I really do appreciate it. it you know, it's kept my spirits up. Uh, massive change, which, like anything, if whatever illness it is, uh, you have to adapt, don't you? You have to change. It's it's a warning for you to get on. But for me, the main thing is, is this is the therapy for me. I'm back on a bike. I'm, you know... I'm back out enjoying myself. So I've got a couple more weeks before I'm back in work. So I'm just going to feed myself into my bike slowly, get used to it again, and then can't wait with a bit of luck. Off I go. Now, the side of miss, because I, I actually did book the ABR festival, I weren't going to bother, and I've ended up having to cancel it. And they've been dead good about it as well uh, when I mentioned to them. So that was on absolutely gutted because that would have been my first time going to the ABR so I'm sat watching a, a few videos with people who, who were there and walking around it looks absolutely fantastic the same with uh, Richie V's I'll not be going to that unfortunately this year for the next couple of months is really just about getting getting well again and getting fit is the main thing but straight away the nc went straight to it it worked it's not on a trickle charger it's not on anything like that started up first thing no problem at all and you just you just fall into it on them they're just such a lovely bike but it's quite quite interesting when i got to uh yules i was talking to uh one of the salesmen he was talking about the suzuki the uh hybrid suzuki so i'm gonna have a read of that and never seen one of them Hoping Yules are very kindly going to let me ride a couple of other bikes. So, with a bit of luck, you know, you'll start seeing videos again. There'll only be small ones at the beginning. Probably with nightmare with audio. Audio is absolutely driving me mad. And what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll ride up to the motorway here and then I'll cut you off and then we'll bring you back on when we're closer to uh, to Yules itself. And then we'll pick up from there. So, it is, it's quite a short video, this one. It's just to say hello to everyone. You know, I'm back on my feet. And uh, I wish everyone the best and thank you very much. So I hope you enjoy having a back heat on my NC750 DCT. As I say, missed it so much. And I, I re it's really deep from the heart that I really do miss riding my bike. As I say, I ride in all weathers. You know, to work, for fun. And it's great, you know, I love it. You just can't beat it. So I've been going through the comments that I've got off everyone as well about bikes that they're interested in, what they're buying. Quite a lot of interest in the uh, the E-Clutch, which I'm really pleased with. Because it is a lovely bike, that that Honda with the E-Clutch is amazing. And I'd like to get a go on a few of the others, like the BMW version of it. We'll see what will happen on there. But as I say, this year... All my plans that were made, unfortunately, they've gone out the window now. So it's just a case of uh, going day by day. So what I'll do now, we're just going to fade out. We're going to get to this roundabout, get onto the motorway, and then we'll head up to uh, to Yules in Manchester. And, you know, go in there. They're a fantastic bunch. They'll look after you. 
and they've got some really good bargains in there. Uh, be cheeky if I can. I'm going to see if uh, Joe or Phil will let me have a round of a goal wing. Now, I've never even sat on a goal wing. So the first time I sat on it was today, as you'll see later on. And I'm so surprised, you know, how agile they are. They know they're heavy, but they just, when you get on them to move them and so low, you just sink into them. The hardest bit now is uh, not eating all the crap, because it is literally like the missus is telling me I should not let me near it. And drinking so much more water. I mean, it did drink a bit, but any sort of busy stuff has gone out the window. And, like I say, I want to get myself up and going properly so I can get out riding my bikes again. I've still got, which has got to be done this year, Michaeli has got to come out and get done. And I know we did see a few comments saying, why don't you get out and start doing it in the, in the garage while I was off. Just weren't fit enough to do it, to be honest. Uh, it's amazing, the first three, four weeks, so tired, and I was walking every day. Uh, but that's, that's more than likely anything. That is the meds that you're going to... Because the amount of meds that you give me run through seven tablets a day. So we have uh, six tablets in the morning that I could take from beta blockers to blood thinners. Uh, and then to a, a tablet at night. I must do a video on it. it it's, you could think it would be smart, but it, it's that big. It's like putting one of the massive dog stoppers in your mouth and you know, that and we're gonna put that in now, is that gonna work? Right! Amazing where they've come from. Right, let's see, uh, see what they've got sat there. Say hello to them, it'd be nice to see them to be honest. Always get a welcome in here. So, mm. so that's good, my, my visor is stuck. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my uh, boots off. I can go in there. In my funk, we jump. And that's what you don't have on these, all these sports bikes, do you? There we go. I'm looking at what we've got on the back of it now. I've got to paint it. A cheap back box. Right. Let's see. Is that yields? Hello. Hello. I'm <laughs> going to have a walk around. Any special offers? Uh, free coffee. Oh, free coffee. Free 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 don't, don't do coffee anymore. Oh, yes. What, one, one decaf in the morning, that's it. So I'll, I'll nick a bit of water. Sorry, mate. It's all right. Sorry, Pop. Duck down under it. <laughs> Now we will have to ask them, can I get a ride on one of these? In fact, I'm going to... Are we alright to have a set on this gold wing, lads? Of course. Yeah. Really good. So I'm going to have a set on that. Ah. Just to let you, uh, I did like that colour as well. But we'll see it at the back. 
and you know more spec than the Africa Twin but probably less buttons on there really pretty thing that is a lot of money and there we are 32,799 but if you want an older one 24 and the lifetime warranty with their yields is uh, if you get your bike serviced there now you'd love to have a little garage with all this lighting wouldn't you Africa Twin, Africa Twin is still another bike. How do you, bud? Doing right. Yeah, not bad. It's still a bike that would uh, I'd love, and there we go. This is the DCT. Yeah, there we go. Another DCT is going on the road. That's a nice ditty. Trans Alp. Bit of a swap round in here. And if you want 125 to 150 miles to the gallon, get yourself a CB125. Lovely little bike. Now, I had one of these many, many years, well, a couple of years ago, as a, a demo bike, and I got cramp on it. Couldn't do with it at all. It was just uh, too low for me and too short. But engine on them are superb. The old Hornet, another bike, that's amazing. Let's have a look at, go upstairs, have a look at the second hand ones. Get me steps in. And there we go. I might do a bit of motocross, I think I'll start on one of them. Let's just walk up the decks. Just, they're just a love-hate bike, them people, everyone that you see that get on these just are laughing. They just enjoy it so much. I quite like these, believe it or not. If you want to just whiz around towns, fabulous little things. And the likes of the... Uh, the C400X scooter that I had, you, you just can't knock them at all. Now, I'm going to see Joe when he gets back and see if I can get paid on that. It's a bike that I've, I've seen many, many times, never ridden. It's a 700, basically, it's the NC700. That's the engine on it, but it's a V twin. It is a really, really rare bike now. Never never done well, never took off, but the spec on it is amazing. I just think they're an absolutely lovely looking bike. And that's where the photography goes on. Nice BMW 1250. That's a display bike for them. And that's isn't that a beautiful VFR. Lovely colour on it. Nice Harley. Going an 18 inch. You is that? 4,500 miles. 63 plate. So that's a 63 plate is uh, 2013. So that's 11 years old. So that's holding its money good. Again, another one.
real good choice of bikes. And you know, sometimes it's worth coming up and just looking at the second hand ones. And they look quite sleek, don't they? For one two fives. They look like a bigger bike. And the you don't need one too far away. Looks good, sir. Nice BMW. CB1000. That's a two, the older Africa twin, I think that one is. Yeah. Still not wrong with them. You know, they're a big old bike. I mean, if you look at that bike now, to my waist, it's on its side stand. I'm five foot ten. That is a big old bike. Harley's. It's funny how we change our bikes over the years, isn't it? How we change our, our what bikes we like. Now it's like these Royal Enfields. These are really uh, an in thing at the moment. And you know, thinking out on me Hemi, I actually do miss the Hemi. You know, there's things about that I just really did enjoy. And the older NC, you never ever go wrong. Now, people say it to me all the time, like, when I'm out riding, people have always asked me, would you have the new one or would you have the old one? You wouldn't go wrong with either of them. The, the older one isn't quite as quick on pickup. But to be honest, I think they feel lighter, the narrower. The handlebar setups are slightly different. Absolutely lovely bike. And I had two of them prior to my new one. And look at the price of that, wow. Now you say, you know, bikes holding the value. There we go. That bike probably new. I bet if you look on uh, the history of it, was about three thousand pounds, two thousand nine hundred pounds. And you know, for some second-hand bikes, there's some right good bargains. CB1000, again another bike that's absolutely amazing, I own one, which uh, my nephew took over, but an absolute fabulous bike, and again CB500X, a bulletproof bike, you just run and run and go wherever you want. It's like crony bike red one and we changed it for an NC but like you said you'd, you'd never you never fail having one you'll just start up anywhere you go that's quite pretty and there we go absolutely fabulous so we'll call it quits there we'll say our goodbyes and we'll get back on the bike so that's Yule's Manchester. I'll have to uh, have a ride down to the the Blackburn branch and see what that's like. Right, catch you later, Dutch Biker. See you on the next one.